In the wake of the U.S. Supreme Court's refusal to hear an appeal from The Ohio State University, survivors of sexual assault at the hands of OSU Dr. Richard Strauss finally got their first day in court. NBC4's Colleen Marshall was there as the judge overseeing the case held its very first status conference. Colleen? And it appears the judge is trying to wrap his hands and his head around the breadth and scope of this case. There are more than 300 plaintiffs remaining and attorneys for Ohio State University have still never filed a single response to any of the cases filed against them. So today, U.S. District Court Judge Michael Watson asked attorneys on both sides to try to figure out exactly how many cases are still active, how many plaintiffs still have claims that the university will have to defend, how many cases have been dismissed, and how many of those cases might be consolidated. In just one week, attorneys have to respond to his demands that they help him cut through all the confusion about the number of pending claims. They must present a list of each act of plaintiff and describe the claim they're making. About a half dozen of the survivors of Dr. Strauss were in the courtroom. They say they're happy this matter is progressing and they finally have hope that they will get in front of a jury. You know, when Judge Watson originally ruled on the case, he told us specifically that there's no doubt in the harm that was caused by Strauss. There's no doubt in OSU's role in it. But our, you know, if we want to have justice, we had to go to lawmakers. And then we found out later, and he didn't even know that when he said it, that you know, House Bill 249 was fake, and then OSU tried to kill the bill. So we didn't really ever have an avenue for justice for that. So our avenue for justice is with Judge Watson. So if he says that he's going to be aggressive, I mean, we have to have faith in him right now. The judge still did not set a date for trial, but he did indicate that he's going to be aggressive with the calendar. He said these victims have waited a long time for justice, and he has a responsibility to keep the case moving. Attorneys for OSU declined to comment on the case or the Supreme Court's refusal to consider their argument that the survivors of Strauss waited too long to file their claims. I did speak to one of the attorneys for the plaintiff, Scott Smith, and you will be hearing from him tonight at 5.